So this is my old iPhone 6S Plus. And using a Rode Video Micro, it works pretty well as a camera. It's kind of fun. This is using the selfie camera on my phone. Now I could always have a case on my phone to hold this microphone, but just for this video, this is a demonstration. Why I'm doing this demonstration is because I'm about to upgrade my main, main vlogging camera, which is a Canon M50. Let's talk about that. All right, so now I'm using my Canon M50, and currently I have it with its kit lens. And you can already tell, I think the focus is right in this area right now, so it's focusing on the window behind me. You can already tell that I'm kind of dark, like you can't see the shadows. There's not very much dynamic range in this camera. But if I tap on myself, let's see if the ISO turns up a bit. Okay, it didn't, so I actually had to do that on the touchscreen myself. So, I've used my Canon M50 for a while as my main vlogging camera. With it I use that Rode video mic. Let's just uh, show you. That's what that camera looks like, as you can see on my iPad, because mirrors are outdated. And for the start of this video I just used my phone. So why I'm doing this is to show you the difference um, between vlogging cameras that I've used and why I've decided to get rid of my Canon M50. Now I bought my Canon M50 about six months ago to start vlogging and I've been using it for vlogs. All of the previous videos on my channel were done with it. It worked great. Besides my very first one which I did with a Canon 6D. So I am a photographer. I have been for roughly two years and I've always used DSLRs. I started with a Nikon D3300. I then ended up with a Canon 5D Mark II, a Nikon D600, then a Canon 6D, and I've had a few others along the way, but mostly full-frame DSLRs. Now, they were old and only in the range of six to $800 at the time, and they worked beautifully for photography. I couldn't ask for anything more, and if I really had a professional job, I would just rent a $2,000 lens and go for it. But when winter came and I didn't have as many jobs, I decided to switch to a Canon M50 for about 550 bucks. So I bought that, but I am still a photographer. So going from a full frame Canon 6D, which is only about 200 bucks more, maybe 150 now. The M50 really sucks for photos. And I say this because Dynamic range isn't already the best on Canon cameras. Canon has very good color science, like they get the skin tones down perfectly. Nikon, it's got like so many stops more of dynamic range uh, for the same price. A D600 or a D800, they're, they have beautiful, beautiful photos. They don't always get the colors right, but if you know anything about editing, the dynamic range and often the pixel count and the ISO performance to be honest it is really really worth getting the temperature or a couple other things off sometimes. So as a photographer I need two cameras now I've decided I have my phone and I have my Canon and I also even have this a GoPro Hero 3 Plus and I use it for point of view videos and riding like riding dirt bikes or electric bikes it works great for that but it doesn't really have stabilization anywhere near the GoPro Hero 7s. The GoPro Hero 7 has been a revolution for so many vloggers because it is this small um, but you can carry it around and carry a microphone and it has excellent stabilization. So I'll be selling my Canon M50 to get a Hero 7 and then save up for a Nikon D800. For now, I'm just going to ditch Canon because I view them as the Apple of the, the camera world. Very good quality, but overpriced for the amount of power that you get. So I won't be using Canon for a little while. Nikon is just a better value, and the GoPro Hero 7 should be fine for vlogs with my Rode Video Micro for audio. And I think it'll be perfect because then I'll have two cameras, exactly what I need, 
and neither of them will be ridiculously expensive. We're talking a $400 GoPro setup and like an $800 DSLR, probably a $1,000 lens that I can use for my jobs. So if you're looking to vlog and just vlog, a Canon M50 is fine. If you want to take good photos, don't get a Canon M50 unless you haven't really used a good camera before because I guess it's decent. It's about as good as your phone. But if you are an avid photographer and a vlogger, you're gonna have to end up like me. I'm sorry, but there's no real jack of all trades. Jack of all trades always suck at something. And in my experience, the Canon M50 has a really hard time with dynamic range, uh, blowing out parts of the photos, or not getting very much color. Skin tones are right, but the photos still don't look right. And they're nothing like a full frame camera for sure, which is to be expected. But for 550, 600 bucks, I expect better photos, even if the camera is suited for vloggers. And that's why I won't be using it anymore after this video. So I'm about to reset my Canon M50. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.